Um, today's video is, what's today's video? Oh, take two. Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. In case you're new here, my name is Linda and I do post weekly about fashion. So if you're into that sort of thing, then please do consider subscribing to my channel so we can be friends. And if you're not new here, then hello, welcome back. Today's video is my Valentino unboxing. So, I came to the conclusion that I really love Valentino, even though I, I don't like get as excited for it as I do for some of the other brands. But then I realized I always gravitate towards my Valentino bags. Pretty much anytime I'm going out, I just tend to grab one of those because they like match my outfits. And I said, you know what, even though I wasn't even like craving another Valentino, I was like, I was going on a trip which is what kind of caused all of this. And I was gonna take the same bag that I take every single vacation and pretty much every single date night. And I was like, you know what? I need to mix things up, but like that that's just a, my go-to bag. So I said, should I get the exact same bag in another color or should I get like similar, like a similar style, different size maybe and a different color? And finally I, I decided on one. So my very most used bag is my Val Valentino Rock Stud clutch wood chain or wallet on chain. It's this one. Ugh. This guy right here. It didn't seem that meaningful to me when I first bought it. Like it just seemed really cute. I had no idea how much I would use this bag. I mean, literally almost every single date night, this is my go-to bag. And every vacation, I'll take two or three purses. This is always one of them because if I'm going to dinner somewhere, this is gonna match. Or if I just need something small, this is the bag. And it fits, which is so, like not only is it pretty for like nighttime, but it's also a small bag, but big enough to fit pretty much everything. It fits my phone. No problems closing. And that's with the chain tucked in and everything. So because of this bag, which is my go-to favorite bag, even though I don't look at it and go, oh my god, it's gorgeous. Like I do some of my other bags. It's just the one that gets used the most. Somehow it doesn't have signs of wear. I don't know how. I haven't babied this. This thing has been smushed in every single suitcase. And I usually put it inside one of my other bags. Like I usually take my LV backpack. Might be behind me. No, it's not. But I usually take my Louis Vuitton backpack as my casual one for like walking around. And then I'll stuff this one into that when I'm like packing. And this thing is great. So, not just that, but like my other Valentinos, like I'm just obsessed with them. Like all of them, they're gorgeous. They're like staple pieces in my wardrobe. And so I decided, let me get one more. So the size that I chose to get, so that was like the clutch with chain or wallet on chain size and that one was the medium size. I decided to go for the only size that I don't have that I was actually kind of craving, which is the small. So I realized I wanted the small size and when it came to color, I was torn between like the white and the off-white. Now I do have another white Valentino, which is this one. And I was going to take this one on the trip instead of the black one, just to like have something different. But then I was like, mm, like I don't know, like it's a really good size. I think this is the mini or the small, but... It fits everything, but maybe because it's open, I was kind of like, eh, I don't know if I want to take this one. And so I said, you know what, let me get a similar color. So I went online and I saw that there was like a totally white version that had even the white studs. And then there was one that was beige, not beige, but like off-white. And it had the um, like metallic studs like these. So after a lot of debating and just going back and forth and like harassing my mom and sister like pick one and they both pick different ones of course i finally decided on the one so i have yet to open the package almost showed you guys my address there so here's my box um backstory on this for any of you that are interested in shopping on ebay ebay has that authentic kit program authenticating program whatever it is that's currently free it keeps saying currently so i'm assuming eventually they're going to charge for it so it's free to the buyer so pretty much anyone selling on ebay it seems i before it seems like only in the u.s but now i've seen some other countries that it says it's part of the program um 
like the the seller will send their the item it doesn't matter if it's like shoes watch bag whatever that you buy they'll send it to the ebay hub which i think is in like california or so it's somewhere on the west coast and um they'll authenticate it and then once ebay has it authenticated they will send it to the buyer so that's pretty much the program and it just makes you feel more comfortable because you know at least it, it pretty much had like a two-point inspection like the seller's good and then on top of that they send it to the ebay hub i usually still buy from a good seller um they do have ones that have almost no like reputation but once i see that it's going to the ebay hub then i'm like okay it seems a little safer but in this case it's from a reputable seller I think this one's rebag and on top of the fact that rebag has it authenticated ebay's hub authenticated it and now it finally got to me and let's see it it has like the all oh, the little bubble wrap Ooh. it's got the ebay dust bag um so this one didn't come with its um whatchamacallit its actual valentino dust bag and I just saw at the bottom of the bag, it actually says authenticity guarantee. So that's nice. Even the box says it. Hmm. And, oh, so excited. Okay. Yay. Here is my precious. <laughs> just kidding. Um, okay. So, I hope the chain's inside. It has... You know, I'd, I really hadn't seen the small in person. I just wanted to see, like, okay, we'll we'll open it up together. So let's see the outside. It said it had, like, noticeable wear. I don't see almost anything. I don't see any studs missing. I don't see any wear around the outside. Maybe some scratches to the hardware, but nothing, but, like, bothers me. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. okay, there's the chain. Kind of getting scared for a minute there. And then it has the rebag certification, so that's pretty cool. It has the name of the bag, everything. That's pretty cool. So that's from rebag. And then on the outside, it has eBay's, which says authenticity guarantee return void if removed. And then I don't know what's in here. Oh! that's cool then it has it's all uh, it's, it's that english so it also has its own cards from ebay valentino rockstud blah 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 tap card to your phone to view your authentication details that's pretty cool so it's like in this case because it was rebag and ebay's authentic program it was a two-point inspection on its authenticity so i'm pretty comfortable with that i'll go ahead and remove these once i have scissors let me put the chain on it. I can't imagine the chain ever showing wear because it's like... I don't see how it would. Where does... Does it go on the... Okay, it goes on the big one. Yeah, yeah, it goes on this one. How the hell does this thing go on? You know, I'm just going to put it through this part. I'm assuming... Like, I never take the chain off of my bag, so I really had no idea how this was supposed to go on because I'd never thought about it. I assumed it clipped onto the bigger part, but, I mean, not the bigger part, but the one that's on the bag. I think it still does, actually. I might just, I don't know, maybe I'm just being lazy. Okay, so now the chain is on there. All right, I see the error in my ways. So you're supposed to wrap it through, duh. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? And then these two parts can, that makes so much more sense because now you can double like fold it and, sorry guys, I totally didn't even, the thing is I've never taken the chain off of my other Valentino, so I didn't know how it went. I thought it would just clip directly onto here, and it doesn't. You just loop it through, and that way you can just fold it, and these two things go into themselves, not onto the little circles. So I didn't, I never paid attention to it, because like, why would I have? But anyway, so, I love this. It's so cute! Maybe I'll wear this tonight. 
And then, of course, you saw it's removable. And if you don't want it on there, which I always just leave it on, you could hold it from here. And, of course, you can also wear it the long way, so it's a crossbody. And that way, I mean, I'm kind of short, so it sits pretty low on me. And as for the color, it is very creamy. Like, here these are side by side. Uh, I'm trying to think if it would clash if I wear, like, all white. Eh, I mean, I don't care that much. Like, I'm not going to be like, no, this is off-white and that's white, I think. Watch me actually care, like, when I'm getting dressed or something. But so far, I like this color. I think it's very, very neutral. I don't think it's going to clash if I'm wearing something too white. I think it's fine, probably. Um, and I think this is going to be one of my new travel bags. Because lately, I, I for this last trip that I insisted on not taking this Valentino, I actually took my white Chanel Classic Flap, and I loved it. And that one is like a true white, where this one's like beigey. Um, and I loved it, but I think I feel more comfortable taking something like this. Because sometimes when I travel, I don't want as much logo like Chanel. And that's, I think, also part of the reason why I gravitate towards Valentino, because I feel like only people who know valentino know this is valentino otherwise tons of people are just like hey cute bag so i i kind of like that like understated sometimes look and again this one because of the size i feel like it's very appropriate for dinner um so far my experience with ebay's authentica program and rebags has been really good i've bought from rebag i think three of my bags have been from rebag um, and I shopped with Rebag on Vestier Collective and Rebag on eBay. And I think once from Rebag itself on the website. So it seems like a pretty good, reliable company. I'm not 100% sure, but I personally haven't had issues because even if I've like reposted it onto Fashion File or gotten authentication on my own, they so far have all been authentic. Um, there's different services and I just kind of use whatever has like a coupon usually. Um, it's very rare why I don't trust something and I'll like have it authenticated, but it has happened um, where I'm like, hmm, I don't know about this one and I'll go get it authenticated. And so far they've all been authentic, luckily, um, but I'm usually pretty cautious when I shop. So yeah, I absolutely love my brand new bag. I'm going to go start wearing it probably tonight. I'm probably going to literally change my outfit just to match this bag. But anywho, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I will catch you all for the next video. Do give it a like if you like this video. Bye.